Hello and very calm work on today we will learn how we can connect Google Search Console with the WordPress website. Google Search Console is the product of Google and that's very handy to provide the analytics, impressions, clicks of your website and the other bunch of benefits of using Google Search Consoles. I have listed a few of them. It's very easy to use, of course, free of charge. It improves the SEO of your website. SEO is search engine optimization that is used to optimize your website according to the Google search standards. Now, we can upload the sitemaps. That's very handy. It will tell the Google search console the structure of your website and the search engine. We can export the data. We can discover backlinks, we can add, um, learn about new keywords and existing keywords that are used on the search engine. We can also connect Google Search Console to Google Analytics to have a pro view of analytics of your website, such as uh, the traffic coming from, where the traffic is coming from. So let's see how we can connect this. So in the search bar, type Google Search Console, and we see this option, this website for Google Search Consoles to click on this. And this is the website, it might change in the future, but we click on this Start Now button to start with the Google Search Console. Now it provides two options. We have this and this option. This second option we are going to use that's very easy to use. And to use this, we need the URL of your website. So we go to the WordPress website and to grab the URL, we, we can simply grab this URL from here or for, for the, for, we can go to settings in general and this is a site address we can also copy this Go, going back to the search console paste you over here and click on this continue button it's checking verification and it provides the bunch of options here to start with verification so the first is html file we can download this html file and we can upload this in the directory in the main directory now the next option is html tag at google analytics google tag manager domain name provider we can add this dns to the dns of your domain now what option we are going to use this html tag option this is very easy option we copy this one this code and we need to put this in the head section of the website. Now copy the matter tag below and paste it into your site's home page. It should go to the head section before the body section. Now we copy this. If you're not a developer and don't know how to add this code on your website, you need to copy this and just send it to your developer. And once the developer add this to your web WordPress website, then you can click on this verify button and go into the dashboard of the Google Search Console. So because I have to show you the whole process, I copy this, I go back to my website and we're going to use a plugin, add a new plugin and that is insert header and footer. Now this is the plugin. Now we, we need to install this and activate this. I've already installed this plugin and once installed, you go to the settings, WP headers and footers. Now we need to add this in the header, scripts and header. So we uh, copy this and paste it in here. Once pasted, save changes, go back to search console and click on verify. Now you can see the ownership has been verified. It says the, to stay verified, don't remove the matter tag from your site's homepage. 
to avoid losing verification, you want to add multiple verification methods for the set of the verification. So they say you don't remove this. You need to put this verification code always on your site. Now we can click on done or go to the property. You will see your website domain appearing here. There are a bunch of options in this Google Search Console dashboard. It is the notification. You will see different notifications from Google Search Engine and the performance tab, the indexing tab, experience tab, how was the experience from the customers on your website or the visitors on your website. Now, what are the enhancements needed? The performance basically uh, contains the impressions, clicks, and, and it also contains the keywords here and, and from where the traffic is coming from, the pages, URLs, the countries, the devices. So URL inspection is also handy, like we say we have this new URL on our website and we click paste in here and click enter. It will say that URL is not on Google. So we, have, we need to request indexing for this URL. So similarly, if you create a new page, a new product, a new website, you just um, uh, search that, that URL here and it will tell you it's available on Google or not. For the newest URLs, those obviously will not be available on Google and then you can request indexing and then this will prioritize your indexing for that specific URL. Now the next task, the last one is we need to upload the sitemap. Sitemap is very handy. It is basically the structure of your website that contains the different URL of the pages, posts, products, etc. So how we can get the sitemap URL is available in, in indexing sitemaps and we need to put the URL here. You go back to your website and you will see it's available now this sitemap is available uh, once you install any SEO plugin there's a bunch of SEO plugins available on WordPress directory the, we are using the Yoast SEO there are multiple other like all-in-one SEO the rank math is a good plugin as well so uh, once you install the Yoast SEO because I'm using this one right now we click on this we click on settings and we go to API tab and this click on this button view the XML sitemap. Now this contains a post sitemap page category depending on the features or the structure you are using on your website. It will list all those sitemaps here. Now, this is the URL we need to copy sitemap index.xml copy this one. And this is the default. This is the default for many of the WordPress website once to install an SEO plugin. So paste in here and submit. You will see the sitemap appearing here after you submit and it has discovered the 19 URL present in, in our sitemap. So that is how you apply the sitemap. Now, it also tells you the Google Search Console dashboard about the experience on your website. Page experience, how was the page experience for the customers on your website, how the core web vitals like speed, performance. So there are other bunch of options like links available on your website. And so that's pretty much it. Now that's very handy for your website. So it discovered by Google and it also tells you the different errors of the website so you can action accordingly. So, so that's very handy, yeah. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That's all for today and see you next time. Thanks.